What's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to unlock your iPad if you have forgotten your iPad's passcode. So if you are in this situation in here where you're unable to actually unlock your iPad because you do not remember your passcode, do not worry because in today's video, I'll show you what's the solution for this problem right here. And hey, do not worry because this works on any iPad model. In my case, I've got in here an iPad mini to showcase it to you guys. But do not worry, regardless of your iPad model, this tutorial should work for you. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll show you how to actually get rid of the old passcode so you can actually set a brand new passcode or even use your iPad without a passcode. Now, there are a couple things you need to know before we proceed into this tutorial, which are Unfortunately, we'll need to restore your iPad and you're going to lose all your iPad's data. Do not worry, your iPad will be functional. You'll be able to use your iPad, but you won't be able to restore your data unless you had a backup done in the past. Okay, this can be an iCloud backup or a backup done on iTunes or on your MacBook device. Okay, so if you have a backup done, do not worry, you'll be able to recover your data as soon as we restore our iPad device. Now, in order for this to happen, we're gonna need our iPad, we're gonna need a laptop device, which can be a Windows PC or a MacBook laptop. Regardless of your laptop model, do not worry, this is gonna work for you. And then you're gonna need a USB cable as well. So what we'll be doing here is we're going to be downloading our operating system from the internet. We're going to install a fresh new operating system into our iPad device. And then we're going to restore our iPad into factory settings and turn our iPad into something useful because if it's locked, you're unable to use your iPad device. So moving straight into our computer, as I've told you, regardless of your laptop model, this should work for you. In my case, I'll be using here a MacBook Air, but do not worry, I'll show you all the steps on how to do it on a laptop running Windows operating system as well. Now, the first thing we need to do in here is actually turn off our iPad. So I'm going to press and hold the power button here at the top right corner. I'm going to slide to power off my iPad. So once my iPad is off, I'm going to keep it aside and then let's follow the steps here on our laptop device. So here I am on my MacBook device. So basically in here, the very first thing we're going to do is actually hop into our internet browser. In my case, I'm running here Google Chrome. We need to go straight to this website, which is IPSW.me. Do not worry because the link to this website is actually in the description box below. So all you need to do is just tap in the link in the description box below in order to reach to this website. The next thing we need to do is scroll down, select iPad, which is the Apple device that we've got. And then we need to scroll down and search for our specific iPad model. If you have any doubt finding your iPad model, please double check your iPad's box in order to find out your exact iPad model. In my case, I'm running an iPad mini Wi-Fi. Here we go. I'm going to select my iPad device. And next up, you'll be able to see a list of operating system softwares and their respective release date. So you want to make sure you download the latest one, which is usually on top with a green tick here on the left. So once you find out the latest operating system, we're going to click once on it. And then we're going to scroll down and tap here on download. As you guys can see, this occupies over 1.54 gigabytes. We're going to tap on download and then the download is going to start immediately. So here we go. My download has started and depending on your internet speed, this may take minutes or even hours. Okay. So in my case, my network is a bit slow. It says 27 to 30 minutes. So let's now wait until the download gets completed. So here we go, the download has been completed and the next thing we're going to be doing in here is the following. If you've got a Windows PC or a MacBook running an operating system equivalent to macOS Mojave or any software which has came before macOS Mojave, you will have to download iTunes. Okay, so in order to download iTunes, you just need to tap in the link in the description box below, download it, install it into your computer and then follow the next steps that I'll be showing to you in this video. 
Now, if you have a MacBook device running a software which is much recent, which is came after macOS Mojave, you just need to follow the tutorial from here because iTunes has been discontinued in the much recent operating software versions. So the next thing we need to do in here is actually take our USB cable. In my case, I'm going to be using the lightning to USB cable right here because my MacBook supports a USB entrance. So depending on your MacBook or your laptop device, if it doesn't support a USB entrance, then you most probably are going to need this cable right here, which is the lightning to type C cable. If it supports a type C entrance, you're going to use this cable right here. But in my case, I'm going to be using the lightning to USB cable. So now what we'll be doing is connect the laptops and into our MacBook or laptop device. And before connecting the other end into our iPad device, there's a small trick in here. If you have an older iPad device with a physical home button in here, you're going to connect the USB cable. And as soon as you connect, you're going to press and hold the home button along with the power button. You're going to hold them for a couple seconds until you see the DFU screen here on your iPad. Now, if you have a much recent iPad without a physical home button, you're going to connect the USB cable and as soon as you connect, you're going to rapidly tap on volume up and then volume down and then press and hold the power button. So this is how it goes. Connect and immediately tap, tap and press and hold the power button until you see the DFU screen here on your iPad. Now, since I have a physical home button here on my iPad, I'm going to perform the first step and this is how it goes. One, two, three. Connected, immediately pressing and holding the home button along with the power button. Okay. Keep on pressing both of the buttons. Do not release them. Okay. For a couple more seconds. Here we go. Keep on pressing the buttons. And then release the buttons as soon as you see this screen right here, which says that your iPad is in the DFU screen. This is the DFU screen. Once you find this screen, keep your iPad aside and make sure you do not mess around with the cables. Otherwise, this is going to interfere in the connection between your laptop and your iPad device. Now, if you have any issue connecting your iPad into your laptop, if the connection isn't successful, make sure you try switching your USB cable. There might be a problem with your USB cable. So next up, we've downloaded the operating system. We're now here on our laptop device. The first thing we need to do in here is open up iTunes. If you have a laptop or an older macOS version, something like macOS Mojave or anything that has came before macOS Mojave. And if you have a much recent operating system like mine, you're going to simply open up Finder right here. But before open up Finder, I'm going to show you how to check your operating system. Simply tap here on the Apple logo about this Mac. And as you guys can see over here, this is my operating system, macOS Big Sur, which is something much recent than macOS Mojave. Okay, so this is how you check your operating system if you have a MacBook device. Now, next up, I'm going to open up Finder right here. And then I'm going to tap on iPad, which is located right here on the left. And once I tap on iPad, I'm going to be able to see this screen right here, which is the exact same screen that you'll be looking at if you open iTunes on a laptop, which is running Windows or an old operating system. Next up, we need to tap here on restore iPad. But before tapping on restore iPad, there's a small trick in here. You need to press and hold the option key here on the left, press and hold. And then while holding the option key, we're going to tap here on restore iPad and then we're going to release the option key. And then this window should pop up from where we're going to search our downloaded operating system. Now, if you have a Windows computer, instead of holding the option key, you're going to press and hold the shift key on the left of your keyboard. Next up, simply scroll down, locate the operating system. In my case, it's right here, iPad mini 9.3.5. Tap on open after selecting it and then it's going to ask you whether you want to restore your iPad. Simply tap on restore and then the restoration process should begin right now. All we need to do is just sit back, wait and relax. Do not touch the USB cable otherwise this might interfere the connection. Now let's just wait while our iPad gets installed a fresh new 
operating system. Now, while the process takes place, you'll be able to see a progress bar here on your iPad device. All you need to do is just wait until the progress bar gets completed. So here we go. The installation process is complete and our iPad has been restored to factory settings. As you guys can see here, your iPad has been restored to factory settings and is now restarting. Leave your iPad connected. It will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. Let's tap on OK. Now let's wait for a couple more seconds while the process of actually restoration and activation takes place on your iPad. You should now be able to see a new progress bar running on your iPad. Let's just wait for a couple more seconds and let our iPad do its thing. Here we go. Our iPad is almost ready to be used and now we need to set it up here from scratch. So now you should be able to see your iPad on this hello screen, which displays hello in several languages. Now you can disconnect the USB cable from your iPad. And now we can continue setting up by sliding to the right. So the very first thing we need to do in here is actually select our language. In my case, we'll go with English, our location. Okay. Let me select United States. Okay. Next up, it's going to ask us to connect into a Wi-Fi network in order to completely activate our iPad. In my case, let me connect into this Wi-Fi network. Here we go. My iPad is now connected into this Wi-Fi network. It's now taking a few seconds to completely activate my iPad. Next up, it's going to ask me for location services. In my case, I do not wish to have it turned on right now. Next up, I need to create a fresh new passcode. And this is the new passcode that you can actually allocate into your iPad. So here we go. Here is the most important screen where you're actually allocating a fresh new passcode. In my case, I'll type 2123. This is my new passcode, 2123. Here we go. Next up, we can actually restore our backup from iCloud if you have a backup done on iCloud or you can restore it from iTunes or your laptop if you've done a backup in the past or you can set it up as a new iPad which is what I'll be doing right now. Next up, you need to sign in with your Apple ID. In my case, I won't sign in right now so I'll tap on don't have an Apple ID and then set up later in settings and don't use Apple ID. So I won't do it right now just to make the video shorter, okay? Uh, let me agree with the terms and conditions. Next up, I won't turn on Siri right now. Don't send diagnostics to Apple. Okay. And then welcome to iPad. Get started. So here we go. My iPad's password has been completely restored. And now I'm able to use my iPad freely with the new password, which I've just set up right now. Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. And if this video really helped you, please consider subscribing to the channel, leave a comment down below, and let me know if this helped you. Thank you for watching Fixed by Shaq, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.